What's going on everyone, it's Super here and welcome to another Injustice 2 video and today we're going to talk a little bit about a DLC character for either Fighter Pack 2 or 3 that a lot of people are thinking is going to be coming to Injustice 2 and of course I'm talking about the Atom and the reason for his name brought up again, not only is it incredibly obvious from the character select screen silhouette that you know it is the atom also you know just the silhouette in general resembled the atom but his name was brought up again today because ed boone retweeted this right here it's a picture of the atom coming out of a uh telephone speaker from what it looks like uh because he could actually you know let, let's say he could dial a number and go through the like electrical lines of of the of the phone like travel with the call you know what i mean and then end up on the other side of the line wherever he was dialing it's pretty cool um that's what it looks like is happening here in this picture uh the picture's from alex ross and he tweeted hashtag adam hashtag friday feelings and ed boon retweeted this so this is definitely uh significant as far as the adam because like i mentioned earlier it's just He's a little bit too obvious, just like with Raiden and Black Man. So he's like, who else could this character be? Um, so it's very interesting that Ed Boon would retweet something like this, knowing that a lot of people are thinking that the Atom is actually going to be one of the DLC characters in Fighter Pack number two or three. Um, he actually did this too when Alien was rumored to be in Fighter Pack or Combat Pack number two. Uh, you know, a lot of people were saying, oh, alien, 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 and he would retweet a bunch of alien stuff leading up to Combat Pack 2's release. So this definitely doesn't surprise me in the least. What is going to be surprising is if they're going to do this character justice, if they're going to have him shrink down, if they're going to have him, you know, do the abilities that he can do. Uh, I I'm sure like his super move is going to be out of this world. If he's actually in the game I'm sure they're gonna have a lot of fun with the super move and just the different things you could do with it with his powers his ability to shrink stuff like that I'm sure that's not gonna be a problem um, you know maybe his 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 regular throw his back throw stuff like that they could implement uh, you know multiple things but his gameplay his general gameplay is gonna be very very hard to balance this character if they go with you know something like his ability being to you know go very very small it it, it would be impossible um so it wouldn't be surprising to me if they did have something like that for him but it would be a part of his uh gear set abilities because they did the same thing with starfire you know starfire one of her main characteristics and powers is her ability to fly and a lot of us thought that it was going to be her character power and it didn't even end up being part of her core mechanics of the game you know you have to get it via an ability um so when it comes to that they don't really need to worry too much about balancing that out if it's a part of the it's if it's a part of a gear move and i know what you guys are saying like you can't have the atom not have the ability to shrink as his core moveset but that's what i thought and everyone thought about starfire's ability to fly and they ended up not giving her that ability you know just as her basic moveset so it definitely wouldn't surprise me if this character's in the game but his ability to shrink or you know do something like that is part of a uh, gear ability but let me know what you guys think are you guys excited about the atom if he does end up being dlc and are you guys gonna play him how are they going to be able to work his ability to to shrink and his gameplay in that way if it's actually part of his core moveset, which I don't think it would be. I think that would go more in the route of, uh, I believe, the Arrow, I mean the Arrow, um, Arrow, the show Arrow on CW, has a version of the Atom that's a little bit more like Iron Man, a little bit more, uh, you know, of a battle suit. I think that's who they would go with instead of like the traditional Atom. Because he could have, um, you know, uh, cannons, stuff like that. But then again, if you have that character and you have him, you know, play like that, it would really remind me of um, of Blue Beetle. So I don't know how they would differentiate both. But I don't know. Netherrealm is definitely going to do something with this character if he's actually part of the DLC, which by all accounts, it looks like he is going to be. Um, so let me know what you guys think of the atom making it into either fighter pack two or three 
uh, it would definitely be shocking. I don't think this would be the most shocking character that Ed Boon was talking about, but it would definitely be a character like, wow, that's pretty crazy that this character is going to be, you know, actually playable as a fighter in a, in a fighting game like Injustice 2 with, you know, his abilities. But we're going to have to wait and see. That's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe if you are not already. Also, check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.